Can't blame people for wanting to get their hands on some Slow's barbecue, but their equipment, that's generally off the menu. The popular restaurant in Corktown had its mobile food trailer stolen Wednesday and is now hoping that something will turn so they can get it back. Jason Colthorpe is there tonight. Uh, you can't exactly be inconspicuous hauling something like that away. Exactly, Devin. The trailer is huge, not to mention it has that big locomotive on the side, the Slows logo. That's why the owners don't think this was taken to use as their own food truck. It's probably for what was inside the mobile kitchen. Yeah, it's 26 feet long. It's 10,000 pounds. The Slows mobile food trailer is unmistakable. No, there, there's no hiding it. A good many of you have probably stood in line outside of it at some point in the last five years to order some barbecue. But tonight, it's missing. Parked it in our, uh, our secure lot where it normally lives when we're not using it. Came in two mornings ago, and it's not there. It was taken from a fenced-in lot just down Michigan Avenue around 2 or 3 a.m. Wednesday. Whoever stole it, it's, you know, probably somebody with the equipment to do it, and this isn't the first time they've done it. Chef and owner Mike Mativia is hoping it's discovered before it gets stripped. He doesn't think it's likely someone took it to use as their own food truck. I think somebody got that put right into storage and started taking it right apart. Mativia can't pinpoint exactly how much it's worth, but he does know it's an important part of how the restaurant is trying to survive in these difficult times. We're doing everything we can to keep our staff working, keep our guests safe. So when something like this happens, it's um, to me almost more of an emotional blow than business because it just reminds you that as much as we're all working through this together, there's still people out there who really don't care and they're still gonna work against you regardless. So it, it's more of a disappointment in people, you know? Yeah, we know. Restaurants, one of those businesses that just can't catch a break these days. Now, police are looking at some surveillance video from the scene. No word on if that's gleaned any clues, but if you know anything about this or maybe by some chance have seen the food truck, call Detroit police. I'm sure there's some tasty beef brisket in your future. Smoke beef brisket as a reward if you do. We're in Corktown tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.